What's up, pack attackers? Jim here. Cons of Tark here. That's what we're diving into today. 2014 Magic. I wasn't playing at the time, um, but I can definitely appreciate a set with fetch lands in it. Let's just say that. So, uh, this box is unsealed. You can hear the bulk in there. I'm filming this after I did the opening, but uh, 36 booster packs of glory. Let's get into it. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Cons of Tarkir, Magic the Gathering 2014. We've got the Vesuvian Doppelgangers here for luck, courtesy of Mr. Quentin Hoover. If you're interested in one of these play mats, I will put the eBay seller's link in the description below. He gave me an excellent deal on this one and uh, Shahrazad from Arabian Nights. So let's get right into this without further ado. So as everybody knows, we are looking for fetch lands, polluted delta especially. Oh, I forgot that you get a little informational pack. Uh, there aren't very many good mythics in this set, actually. I mean, obviously Soren would be great if uh, Mr. Soren made an appearance, but otherwise... Dig Through Time, Hardened Scales, those are the kind of rares that we're looking for. Not so much the Mythic slot. Alright, let's dive right in. Pack number one. Now, uh, you'll forgive me, I'm not sure, not too certain about foil prices in this set. So if I pass over a good common foil, or uncommon foil. Kirin, Summit Prowler, Feed the Clan. Kill shot, force away, Rakshasa, banner, throttle, crag, ponyback, uncommons, priest, armament core, quiet contemplation, howl of the horde is our rare, and a forest. Now I had the pleasure the other day of uh, pulling a scalding tarn from an original Zendikar pack at my LGS, and I was so excited to do that. Bloodfire Expert, Archer, Snakeskin, Scaldkin, Borders, Caves, Wind Scout, Clarity, Cavalry, Bring Low, Brave the Sands, Incremental Growth. This is a good uncommon, actually. Um, I think this one's worth like 250 so we will find a special place for those up top. And then our rare is Rakshasa Vizier. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile from your graveyard, put that many plus one plus one counters on Rakshasa Vizier. A 4-4 four, four for a crazy Legends-like mana cost. And no foil in that pack. So we're just working down here. Now I wasn't playing Magic at the time that this set came out. Naturalize. Behemoth, Expert, Punch, Secret, Stroke, Crag, Guide, Teamer Charm, Air of the Wilds, and Pearl Lake Ancient. Okay, we got a Mythic, but like I said, Mythics aren't necessarily what you want in this set. Aren't too many good ones, aren't too many that are worth over a buck. So we'd also like to see the Vampire Token. I don't know if you can get those in booster packs, of course. If you're tuning in for the first time, well, this is my first opening video, so welcome to the channel. This is Pack Attack. And this is exactly the kind of thing that you can expect here. Pack openings of... You know, not vintage, but certainly older sets. Sets that I find to be the most fun. Ride down. Crater's Claws is our rare. And we got a Canyon Lurker's Foil. I'll have to look that one up. Put that off to the side there. Actually, let me get these commons. And we'll put the foils right there. Anyway, like I was saying, I had the... Uh, 
Um, the good fortune to pull a Scalding Tarn from an original Zendikar pack in my LGS. They were selling Zendikar packs for only 20 bucks a pop. And uh, I actually bought um, several of them. So the store owner uh, gave me a pack for free, which was great. Alpine Grizzly, Erase, Tormenting Voice, Bondkin, Bloodfire Mentor, Highland Game, Backwater, Hayblade. Oops. Chief of the Edge, Briber's Purse, Windstorm, and Butcher of the Horde. God, that's a crazy looking card, isn't it? Sacrifice another creature. Butcher of the Horde gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink, or Haste until end of turn. Wow. And a Mardu Rough Rider. Foil Uncommon. Cool. Put the foil there. And... I took a few of the, I opened a few of the packs there. I pulled the Scalding Tarn there with a bunch of people watching, including this 10-year-old kid who had never seen Zendikar open, so that was really neat. Um, and I pulled the Virgin Catacombs when I got home. So, really exciting stuff. And, uh, as an incentive to stick around in the channel, Seek the Horizon, Aspirant, Grim Haru Specs. I have a box of original Zendikar in the mail on its way to me. First printing, we're going to get that priceless treasure. That's actually the reason I was inspired to finally start the channel, was because I want a priceless treasure, and I want to get it on camera. Because, you know, there are a few of them on YouTube, but, you know, I don't want to say anything bad, but they just, they don't seem legit, and I think it's pretty much widely accepted that they're not legit, so... I want to get one, and I want it to be legit. Charm, Rough Rider, Jeskai Ascendancy. All right, so no fetches just yet. That's okay. I still have a lot of packs left. Now, if you see me passing anything of value up, don't worry. I'll go through this stuff later. And most of these cards will be for sale on my eBay store. So if you see anything that you're interested in, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Cranial Archive. God, look at that card. That's crazy. Tusk Guard Captain and Dragon Throne of Tarkir. Well, I don't know if it's valuable, but it's definitely a cool card. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or something else, your own choosing. I hope it was a good one for you, and I hope you have a happy new year. <coughs> Stubborn Denial. Oh, actually, I think that that's a good card. I don't know. We will find out later. Jessica Elder and Sage of the Inward Eye. My wife got me a bunch of clothes for Christmas, which uh, I needed, um, actually sleepwear. She was a little horrified that I only had one pair of pajama pants, so she got me a couple more. Bonkin return. And then she surprised me with a few packs of Throne of Eldraine, so that was very sweet. Blinding Spray, Jeskai Charm, Murderous Cut, and Dune Blast. Choose up to one creature and destroy the rest. Look at that casting cost. That's insane. So if you guys got anything good for Christmas, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Any other holiday gifts? Or if you have any fun New Year's Eve plans? New Year's isn't one of my favorite holidays. We usually... Oops. Find ourselves at a party that we don't really want to be at, or last year we were sick, and it's just hasn't been fun for a while. Secret plans. Hooded Hydra. Mythic. Hmm. And a throttle foil. Let's see, where are we? Alright, so we are just about a third of the way through the box. And 
so far, no fetches. Lots of non-basic lands in the common and uncommon slot. Leaping Master, Burn Away, Citadel. Oops. Sorry about that, I got a little carried away. Warden of the Eye, Deflecting Palm, such a cool card. It reminds me of a reverse polarity from, uh, what is that, from Antiquities or Legends? I don't remember. Prowler, Archer, Killshot, Mastodon, Bellstrike, Kintry Warden, Cliffs, Wind Scout, Battle, Pinewalker, Avon, Companion, and a Trail of Mystery. Oh yeah, they had a morph mechanic in this set, didn't they? Whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield under your control. Morph was always I don't know. You know, it first came out in like 2002, 2003, and it never really made sense to me when I was younger. And then it just kind of faded into nothing, so. I guess there's there's got to be some way that it's advantageous to have a face down 2-2 two, two creature, you know, for 3 mana. That's a cool piece of art, that portrait. Secret Plans, Raider Spoils, and Jeering Instigator. Alright, so I'm a little I'm a little sad. We haven't gotten a fetch yet. Hopefully it's a bottom heavy box. But we are still having fun opening this. I kind of like this, you know, this nomadic theme that Cons of Tarkir had, the dragons and Faith Reforged and all that good stuff. Mistfire Weaver, Become Immense, Horde Ambusher, and, oops, Retribution of the Ancients. Hmm, that doesn't seem like a very good card. I've never really cared for cards with, you know, like weakness and give creatures minus X, minus X, or... Whatever, I've always preferred to just destroy creatures outright. Sage Eye Harrier, give me just a sec. These commons are going to fall over. War Shrieker, Feed the Clan. Chill, Secret, Gadool, Banner, Cruise, Highlands, Roar, Water Whirl, Soothsayer, and another Toon Blast. <laughs> now we're duplicating. Okay. All right, well, we haven't hit our foil rare yet, so hopefully it's that foil polluted. Hopefully that's our that's our reward for waiting so long for a fetch land. We haven't even gotten uh, Dig Through Time or, um, what's the other one, Hardened Scales yet. So, we're due, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's crazy uh, how expensive um, these boxes are compared to how they started. You know, I mean, they were just standard box prices at first, but it's crazy how they appreciate. Seeker of the Way, Rakshasa Death Dealer. Now, what do you guys think is going to happen with Throne of Eldraine? Do you think it's going to be like a Dragon's Maze situation, or maybe like a Dominaria where it's going to go up and then it's just going to kind of stall out for a little while? I've got a couple boxes, and might open those up. I just got kind of sick of opening them, to be honest with you. We fate. Blood flies. Death frenzy. Despise. And... There we go. Okay. So we hit Soren. That's good. Not exactly what we're looking for, but... Can't complain about that. We'll put him up there in the, uh... We know it's valuable pile. But yeah, it's crazy to me that Fate Reforged is so expensive. Um, what is it, like $130, $140 a box? And it's just... Oops. Well, that's gone. Getting a little excited. Getting a little anxious. I just had a cup of coffee because I also just had a nap. Brave the Sands. Got done with work early today. Falconer. Karu Spell Snatcher. A Naga Wizard. back a little bit. Yep, 
yeah, it's crazy to me that Paper Forged is so expensive because uh, just because of that, you know, that land slot where you can get the fetches. I think, you know, I don't think that there's any rares or mythics that are particularly valuable in that set. Sorry about that. I was angling the cards away from the camera a little bit. Dragon Grip, Saddle Brute. There's another Swift Spear and Narset. Enlightened Master. And our foil rare is a Mantis Rider. Too bad. Well, I can't I can't pretend that that's not a little disappointing. I haven't had good luck with foil rares lately. You know, I pulled a foil rare from one uh one of those Zendikar packs that I bought, um, from which I pulled the uh Scalding Tarn and the Verdant Catacombs. And the foil rare it was a bulk rare. I mean even in foil it wasn't worth more than a dollar. Which is crazy because there are so many good cards in that set to pull. Growth. Field Charger. There we go. Finally! Jeez. And it's a good one, too. I think Bloodstained is the second most valuable. And who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we will pull a second foil rare in this box. Not unheard of. Sorry, just moving these commons. Alright. Gonna pick up the pace a little bit here. Colossodon, Harrier, Trumpet Blast, Scavenger. Take through time. There we go. Actually, we'll put that up there since we know it's got a little bit of value. Actually, let's just. of the Ages, Herald of Anafenza, but I wanted to get started with cons because I've been really into fetch lands lately ever since, uh, we'll skip all those commons, Hateblade, Winterflame, Swiftwing, Falconer, Crackling Doom, hmm. Ever since I found out that Fetch wasn't coming back to standard, um, at least in the foreseeable future. Especially those Zendikar Fetch lands, there is nothing more exciting. I love pulling Onslaught Fetches too, I actually pulled one at my LGS uh, the other day, and um, it was just a uh, Windswept Heat, so it's the least expensive one, but sorry. Um, if you don't get them in foil, it's not really worth it in that in those old boxes because uh Ugin's Nexus. Hmm. Another mythic. Because otherwise, you know, they're I mean polluted delta, what's that worth? Forty one dollars an onslaught, and if you're paying four hundred and fifty dollars a box, there's no way you can make your money back really unless you uh pull one or two foil fetch lands, and you only get one foil rare per box, so, empty the pits, lots of mythics, wow, and a foil swamp, that's a nice looking card, Lots of non-basic lands in the common slot, especially. Meandering Tower Shell. Now, how many packs do we have left? Nine. <laughs> they can't do us like this. One fetch land, one bloodstained mire. How big is this set? 269, it's not even that big. That's the other thing about Onslaught, is uh huge huge set, 350 or something.
Banner, Weave Fate, Rugged Highlands, Rider, Arc Lightning, Take Up Arms, Dead Drop, and an Icy Blast. Can you hear the disappointment growing in my voice? Love that card, Tormenting Voice, Crippling Chill. Wish I hadn't seen so much of it in this opening. Scion of Glaciers, I think we got a foil in this pack. Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, another, another Crackling Doom. Nope, no foil. See, and, you know, I buy these boxes, and, um... I enjoy opening them so much, you know, it's not necessarily the value, it's just the experience, and uh, being able to share that experience is the goal of the channel. Ghost Fire Blade. I want to be able to share the opening experience, but it's it's not necessarily for value. I mean, I love hitting a big card. Um, I had a pretty good Battle Bond opening the other day. I got a Foil Morphic Pool, which is definitely a good rare to getting foil, but that is not necessarily the goal. But you can't help but be a little disappointed when the set does you like this, Avalanche Tusker, because we are just getting absolutely demolished. Uh, but, you know, then I think about, well, if I held onto the box and appreciated 10, 20 bucks worth of value, and then I sold it, some other poor schlub, unless they're investing and they're just going to hang on to it, is going to open it and they're only going to get one fetch land, one bloodstained mire, and then they're going to hate me. Mardu Ascendancy again. I think we've gotten that one. We've gotten so many Mardus and priests and all sorts of stuff. Oops. Three packs left after this one. Karu Lich Lord and a Tusked Colossodon. But then again, I wonder if, you know, I wonder if the person who sold me the box is worried about that kind of thing, too. Um, I can't remember where exactly I got this box. Oh, well, I know that I got it on eBay, but um, I don't remember if it was from, like, a Troll and Toad kind of store or if it was from an independent seller or what. Um, it's been a couple of months since I bought it. Aerostorm, Timely Horde Mate. Is that what that says? Yeah. Mystic Monastery, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and Mind Swipe. Well, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really expect to get any fetches in these last two packs, but would be nice. Would be nice if we hit that Delta. I mean, not even the Heath, not even the one that's only like nine, ten bucks. Frustrating. I skip, I'm skipping a few commons just in case you're wondering where they're all going so quickly. Throttle, Sands, Blazebringer, Seeker, Spoils. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I guess I just have to say that I'm not expecting us to get any more. Flooded Strand. That's a good one. Where dragons once slept, their bones now rest. That was terrible. Yeah, that was a very, very bad box opening in terms of uh, return on investment, in terms of EV, two fetch lands, and not even polluted Delta, unfortunately. Um, sorry about that last pack. Uh, my camera just decided to stop working. So uh, there was nothing good in it anyway. Yeah, we ended up um, two Monastery Swift Spears, the foil rare is actually decent, uh, five or six bucks. We did end up with a vampire token that I passed over, but yeah, um, I don't think I'll be opening up cons again anytime soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all later.